All right, we're back with the next step in our contrast painting. And actually, you can do these steps in a little bit of, a, of different orders. For example, here you'll notice I have uh, spilt outside the lines this contrast paint, kind of up there, uh, maybe a little bit on the top here, and then certainly on his helmet. Though I don't know how much of the inside of that I'm actually going to be able to fix in this brush. Maybe it's not going to be the best brush for the job. Let's um, pull out tiny brush. Here's tiny brush. I had a comment on the previous video. Uh, well, it's not maybe the previous one in the series, but in a previous video where I was painting the green on this guy, saying uh, that this speed paint tends to reactivate. And so uh, touching it up with the matte white, and I do have a fresh glob here on my palette, might uh, get some reactivation, maybe a little bit of color bleeding. So I wanted to kind of test that. We're going to do a little bit of maybe an extreme test on this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get this little little bit here by his gun. I'm just going to kind of dab that on there. We're going to let that dry while we run the video, and we're going to see if it pokes through when it's dried. But I want to take this spot where I really splotched it up on the strap. What I want to do... So I want to take this, and I want to kind of mush it around on there a little bit. Actually, I want a little less paint on my brush here. Hold on. I want to kind of mush it around on that strap a little bit and see, like, is this green going to come back alive when I put this over? Because we've seen in other videos, uh, some folks uh, from some great painting channels, they got this paint way before I did, which is awesome. And they were able to show us some of this reactivation and things. And, uh... Know, yeah, a little bit. It's kind of... Is that kind of coming maybe back through a little bit? That green? A little bit there. Maybe it's reactivating a little bit. Touch of his hat while I'm up here. So, I don't know interesting hard hard to say maybe but you can see that that green's definitely kind of popping back through isn't it and is that because of reactivation because i've been smearing it around here put a little bit more paint over that or is it just that my paint has bad coverage now you see the problem is here with this touching up of course in in my trying to smear it i've got the white back on his skin as well so <laughs> we're gonna go back and forth with our touch-ups here and that's really difficult thing with contrast paints i have to admit that's one of the things that with the contrast or the speed paint these types of paints that's one thing i don't prefer about them is kind of that back and forth you have that a little bit more than you do with um traditional paints but uh, i guess you apparently save time or that's the theory and i find that uh, there's some colors and some applications I do, and some that I don't. So hopefully I'll be able to share those with you. I'm going to get white paint on my finger here if I'm not careful. Not that I can't wash it off, it's just annoying. I'm going to paint it a little bit on his helmet here, see if I can, through the camera viewfinder. So this is what I'm doing for this kind of step, is you want to go back and you do want to touch up those areas with a little bit of white. That little bit of green that's showing through, like you can see it there, and you can even start to see it down here on the gun. It is showing through that white. I would probably need a second coat of that. Actually, speaking of second coats, this could use a little touch-up over here, too. Uh, that's the primer, though. You know, it, I'm going to paint, like, this leather strap here. That's what the green got on. That's going to get painted black. Or not black. Uh, brown. It's going to get painted brown. Right? So, eh. You know, not not too concerned, I guess, maybe, about a little bit of green popping through. But the whole, like, when it was very, very green, maybe that was a concern. Uh, here on the helmet, where I'm painting the helmet, I'm actually planning on painting this um, uh, with the Gravelord Gray as a, uh, as a test, but probably for real-life orcs. See, and I just got a little splotch on his skin there. Um... Got to not do this through the camera viewfinder. I promise I'll do the other models off camera and then I'll show them to you. But um, I'm probably going to do it Gravelord Gray, though. If I was painting these, you know, for a real army and not for a, a YouTube test. Though, I mean, let's be honest. I'm going to play with these guys probably in Kill Team. Because uh, Shooter Boys in Kill Team can be fun. Uh, then uh, I probably would be using a metallic paint. 
honestly, for that, I probably would be. All right, but there you go. You know, I touched up his helmet a little bit. Yeah, we've got green down on the inside of that. I don't think it's super noticeable. Uh, the other thing, too, is I'm wondering how I want to do these teeth. So, you see his... I want to focus on the orc. There we go. You see his teeth in there? And I just kind of splotched green over him initially. I want to, you know, paint him like a bone color, and I have a nice bone contrast paint. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to um, paint this kind of white over him here, and then I'm going to put that, you know, bone contrast paint on there. But it is looking like I'm going to need two coats, especially on this teeth, for sure, because that bone color is really light, and so... Like, we can see that strap as it's drawing. Look at that green popping through. Oh, there's a little on his, on his gun here. So the touch-ups on here, I mean, it could be... Uh, here's some advice, right? It could be... Don't paint uh, models on camera. <laughs> if you want to do a real good job and not have to touch up a lot, maybe that's the advice. Uh, at least maybe for me. Maybe, um, I don't know. Maybe... Do multiple coats of your touch-up. Maybe some uh, folks were talking about like varnishing uh, over the speed paint makes it not reactivate. Again, I don't know that it's the reactivation that's you know causing this bleeding, uh, but if it is, I mean it sure is doing something, right? It sure is doing something. Here's another another coat of white over there, just you know a wet coat over a wet coat there. See how that works. I don't know. Anyways, that's a uh, that's my observations there, right, is that color is definitely kind of coming back through as I'm hoping to touch this up. And so, I don't think I've solved this problem of how do you touch up uh, the uh, when you kind of miss with the Army Painter Speed Paints. I don't know that, I don't know that we have an answer to this problem at the moment. And... Certainly minimizing your touch-ups is going to help. So I wouldn't go as crazy with, like, when I paint other, you know, other, like, flat colors with just regular paints. Uh, you know, I go a little bit crazy with the uh, the spillover sometimes. Because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to paint over that section. Uh, maybe that's not a good excuse here. Oh, yeah, in the back of here. This is another thing. This is not, this is his shirt, not his skin. So I'm going to paint over that a little bit. All right, well, I'm going to cut this off here. I might do a little bit more touch-ups on this guy off camera, but I really want you to see the full process of painting him, so I'm trying to get as much on camera as I can, even if that means these are some longer videos. So hopefully that's helpful. Maybe you watched to the end. In that case, you know, you're awesome. Take care, and thanks for watching. Hopefully this speed paint uh, will help us get gaming quickly. Alright, let's get gaming.